Hello and welcome by the Arcad Saga. Today we have another uh, checking video, uh, but this one will be uh, a bit shorter than uh, the previous ones because this time we're going to check uh, on the zygopetaliums and they are over here in this section and then I and I have five of them, so this is going to be a little bit shorter. But um, yeah, like I said, let's check the zygos. So the first one uh, to go is my. There's a uh, torsi blue, and um, yeah, it's it's doing better. This is my actually my first psycho ever, and this one is very special to me. It's uh, a gift for my birthday from my mom, and so this is uh, one of the two orchids that uh, she gifted me uh, two years ago. So these are very special, of, the, of course. Um, like I said, this was my first cycle, and I have some leaves here, and some yeah, smaller but a bit sturdier leaves here. And on this growth, no, this is one before I had to rebloom. It didn't bloom on this one, and now it's working on this new growth. So I don't know if it will uh, will rebloom on that one. But it did, uh, like I said, uh, rebloom at least once. And I have some older dead roots here, but I also have some new ones. So yeah, this one is about three years in its pot, so sometimes yeah, you just have uh, uh, dead roots like here, but they also have new roots like here and here and here and there. I don't know, I'm not sure if this one is alive, this one is green and there. So yeah, we, it's not only green roots in a pot uh, all, the, all the time of course, and especially when orchids are uh, a bit older, longer in your collection, I think you may expect that they do have some uh, dying off a root, some older roots. So that's okay, but if all the roots start to die off, yeah, you certainly have a problem. But this, uh, yeah, this is my torsion blue, it's going to leave this leaf. It's very uh, browning up. So yeah, it's not doing incredibly fine, but I, uh, I think it's doing slowly better. At least I hope. So this is the first one, and this one had a pH of 7.1, so that's okay. And a parts per million of 125, so that's okay as well. So we're now at my second oldest plant, and that is the, uh, the Saigo. That's the um, Torsi, no, not the Torsi Blue, that one we just had. Luisendorf, I'm sorry, Luisendorf. Well, I think... Uh, I, I did at least way better, so I think I uh, kind of learned my lesson, or started to learn my lessons. Uh, perhaps this is a bit stronger plant than the other one, that's also a big uh, factor of course. But this one is doing so well, and I'm going to try to show it to you guys. Let me, oops, didn't want to tag there, but look at what's coming out of that pot on the tray all kinds of roots. So those roots coming out of the pot from this orchid and going all the way down, coming from the pot, going on to this, uh, this little um, tray I call it. But uh, quite a lot of roots. Let me try to show it to you guys. Look at that. Whoops! There's the media going. Well, a little bit, it's not, uh, not the end of the world. But a lot of roots here as well. And the pot is really filled with roots, at least for a psycho. Yeah, it's a lot of roots, I hope you can see. This one, I think this is probably the best grower for me at the moment, I think. The other ones are fairly new, but also a few uh, ones we have a, can have a quite a look at because they are doing well. But look at this beautiful bulb, it is absolutely a sign that this one is doing fairly well. This one uh, did rebloom, it's now working on a beautiful new growth underneath that leaf. And that new growth is also working on the first new set of roots. I hope you can see it. So yeah, this is beautiful. I'm so, so happy with this. This uh, gives me the courage to uh, get a few other zygos. Because I thought, yeah, I think, I think we can do it. I think I can uh, make zygos happy in self-watering pots. But the funny thing is... That this one is also doing uh, very well, but had a pH of 4.5 in that reservoir. That isn't the first time. If this one is really start to grow, then the pH is dropping. So it takes something out of the pH and leaves something behind. I don't know, but then it starts, that circle starts. Why I do these measurements, the reason for. 
So I did uh, put uh, my calcium powder back in um, in the reservoir. So that uh, is now okay again, and the parts per million are uh, 65. So in comparison to the other one with 125, this one had a 65, so that means that this one is obviously is eating. It's not eating completely, uh, because there was still some uh, parts per million left, but you can see. And it was to be expected. Beautiful shiny bulb, working on a new growth, beautiful roots underneath uh, the pot that were still branching. Uh, that new growth who is uh, putting out new roots so yeah that was to expect this this one needs and is taking the fertilizer it has a beautiful uh, uh, leaves in comparison especially to the other one so yeah i'm happy i'm really really am happy beautiful plants i really like the cygos as well but yeah this is uh, i'm proud of this one <laughs> lucendorf so the third one on the list is my pro petalum Golden Bay, and um, this one is it, it's a beauty. It's the one with the yellow spotted uh, blooms, and, and this one is also so. It's an honor to grow this one because, as you can see, it has a pot filled with roots. Really, a, a lot of them. So this is a, actually a cross from a, a Saigo cross, but I keep it in my Saigo section. And we have the first roots. I hope you can see them well, barely, but I cannot tilt the pot. Yeah, there it is. Roots coming uh, from the, out of the pot, underneath the pot. But yeah, this one is doing uh, very, very well, as you can see. I'm so happy to see this. Oh, and before I forget, um, probably you saw it already, but I have this one in a bit of Cintiq with pumice. Fairly rough pumice, and we have some small... Uh, Pumice here as well, and um, this stuff I don't, I don't know the name of. If I don't forget, I will look it up. I was testing this out if uh, to see if it kept the pH at a certain level, but it doesn't. So <laughs> it's very lightweighted stuff. It's also uh, sort of stony stuff, but it's very lightweighted, stony, <laughs> stone stuff. How how do we call it? But um, so yeah, I, can, I will look it up. I don't mind sharing the name of it, but it's not really something that I really um, like to promote because I don't don't use it. It was just a test, but it didn't give me the results that I was hoping for. But yeah, so the Golden Bay, that is this one. It's working on a new growth here. And we have, let's turn this around. It just finished blooming new growth here. That is now starting with this new growth. I hope that can see it but this one really likes to bloom as well for me so I'm happy with that it has two uh, growing directions which I really uh, like of course golden day and then we have the fourth one that is my Saigo 996 very fancy name <laughs> no, it's not a name it's just uh, it doesn't have a name yet so because it's an own cross of a uh, Landsberger from the Netherlands and I was uh, honored enough to order one from uh, via, uh, via email from them. A beautiful green zygopetalum. And I believe uh, Miss Orchid Girl did uh, have it, uh, did get it as well. So, um, but it's a beautiful one. So you may have seen it. That's why I mentioned that. But uh, <laughs> and um, it has some roots in the pot. But it was a very, very beautiful, strong plant when it came in. And I think it's still strong, but it had a lot of spikes and a lot of roots. But that was a bit of a trouble, because when they have a lot of roots, not adjusted to self-watering, and you want to put them in self-watering, they probably lose a lot of roots. So they need to come back from that, to need, they need to recover. And this one is, is climbing up the hill again, but yeah, that's why the new growths aren't as beautiful as they should but I see some root growth again and um, it's just start let me try to put it in whoops where's my in here. carefully again so I can show the new growth but in growth new growth <laughs> new growth I'm sorry um, like this one so this one is starting to be more green than the previous one to keep the the leaves nice and green, as, uh, as is this one. But you can see this one is spotted. It's not uh, not not very happy, but that's the reason. 
why, I believe. But this one is getting stronger again. It had a nice pH of 7.1 and a parts per million of, let me check, 142. So that was to be expected because then this one is growing but not as, as high, uh, at its high potential or, um, or as it should, how you want to call it. So therefore I was expecting a little bit higher pH, uh, sorry, parts per million in the, in the in the pot. So this is my Saigon 996. Did I this? Yes, 996. <laughs> okay, number five on the list and I will try my best. This is because it's very small hand handwriting. This is Saigonesia Cos Cosmo Murray crossed with Papstia Yugosa Mika. I mean, why not, right? <laughs> so it's a beautiful cross. This is, uh, you may remember, I have this uh, on my channel, if you don't forget, I will put a link in. I uh, sometimes forget, I apologize, but I, we did a uh, repot on this one, so it's nice. If you are into cycles and you want to know more how you can transfer them into uh, self-watering, or if you're just curious, you can uh, sort of follow this one. You can uh, see how we started and how much beautiful roots this one already has. And I hope you can see it. But I uh, noticed that the cycles do like the Cintiq. It's, it's almost like the roots are searching for that Cintiq. Cintiq is very wet. It doesn't have much, much air. So yeah, they, they, the cycles really like that. So I have some pumice for some air, of course. But um, yeah, I now know that I, uh, this is my preferred media because they really enjoy it. As you can see here, some air gaps there, but a lot of Cintiq uh, around it. So yeah, that's, uh, and here, it, here the co come the roots from. And here is again Cintiq. It's like they're going this way, Cintiq this way, Cintiq this way, roots this way as well. And nobody, <laughs> not a single root is going down straight into the pumice. But they, they make a turn into the Cintiq and they make a turn into Cintiq that way. So yeah, that obviously tells me something that I need mixtures for Saigos with Cintiq in it. They really enjoy it. As do my Miltoniopsis. I, I knew that, but I uh, now really see it back into the Saigos, uh, or, or yeah, by the Saigos as well. And yes, this one is just starting to, to bloom again, to rebloom. When I bought it, it was a beautiful white bloom with a uh, purplish uh, lip. But as you can see, it's start it's uh, uh, supposedly of a uh, yeah, supposedly it's it's starting uh, with uh, with a sort of a, almost lime greenies, gray, uh, yeah, creamy green color that that should uh, turn up uh, white. Apparently, but this is how it uh, how it's opened, and two beautiful spikes on one new growth. So yeah, this one uh, appears to be uh, be happy, or starting to get happy again. It's uh, working on new roots again, two spikes. So yeah, I'm really really enjoying this. Not a strong fragrance yet. I think it will uh, will come. Well, I'm pretty sure because when I bought it, it had a beautiful fragrance as well. So uh, yeah, and I have a new growth here I'm sorry here but this one doesn't seem to making uh, any uh, spikes but this one has two already so yeah <laughs> that's fine so this is a uh, number five of my uh, psychos so and here are my psychos again back on the shelf I have one there this, that's the Lewis and Darf then uh, we have three here and one here. That's my uh, Torji Blue. So that's the place where I have my Saigos these days. Um, because I before I had them in a greenhouse. But now they are standing in, uh, as you can see, in my orchid room. Right in front of the window. The window is painted with my shading paint. But I get a um, nice dappled sunlight and, and uh, they obviously enjoy it. Because I have... Uh, I had them to rebloom all of them, and I think they are fairly doing well. Some could do a little bit better, as we saw, but still we have growing root tips on all of them, growing roots, and uh, yeah, a few, especially two of them, are doing fairly well. But yeah, I hope the rest will uh, will follow. And the Torsia Blue, yeah, that's my first one. This one has been through a lot, so 
and it's not as vigorous as the rest of them so it may therefore may take a little bit longer to uh, really get it back in full shape again or the plant is just not as happy but I think oh, as strong how you put it but I think it will uh, will come back to me but uh, yeah I think it's a beautiful day as you can see once again it gets beautiful light I have also my uh, artificial light just in case for the dull days but, uh, and I'm sorry this is a little bit strange because in between my battery died so uh, I had to wire my uh, camera up but I I'm uh, basically work on the outro so uh, um, I didn't change my battery for this but for now thank you for watching and as usual if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below and this is just a bit smaller a video about checking the reservoirs because this group of uh, orchids is a bit smaller but I thought it's nice to uh, change it a little bit and because because some are uh, fairly long but I uh, had I have some shorter ones as well to uh, mix it up a little bit okay that's said and done um, like I said, thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. And of course, I hope to see you at one of my next ones. Bye-bye.